In other news, COVID-19 no longer represents a global health emergency. According to head of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, the WHO's emergency committee convened a meeting for the 15th time since the pandemic started and made the decision following consistent downward trends in the virus over the past year. It's therefore with great hope that I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency. However, that does not mean COVID-19 is over as a global health threat. Last week, COVID-19 claimed life every three minutes. And that's just the deaths we know about. Declared the public health emergency in late January 2020, when there were fewer than 100 cases outside of China. Since then, the WHO head said there has been over 7 million reported deaths, but he estimated that figure could be three times that amount, near 20 million. And despite the end of the public health emergency, he urged countries not to let their guard down. To use this news as a reason to let down its guard to dismantle the systems it has built, or to send the message to its people that COVID-19 is nothing to worry about. What this news means is that it's time for countries to transition from emergency mode to managing COVID-19 alongside other infectious diseases.